Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here coming to you with episode 2 of our Kennesaw State Dynasty. Basically, the first episode was just a little teaser of what you can expect this year's game. I did switch over to 2K8. I just enjoyed more of what 2K8 has to offer rather than playing the NCA 2010. I know the franchise is off to a pretty good start with Indiana State, but I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to change it up. 2K8, I think it might be the last 2K game they made, and I think they did a wonderful job with recruiting, which is kind of what is missing out of 2010. 2010 graphics are obviously a lot better, but as far as the gameplay goes, I would honestly say 2K8 has better gameplay overall, and with all of the recruiting you can do and stuff like that, I just think it's a lot funner. I think it's more challenging in 2K8 than it is in, in 2010. So I hope you guys are okay with me switching over to 2K8. I will be doing an NCAA uh, franchise and I will be doing it with Kennesaw State. If you saw my first video and you liked it, tried really hard to make it pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not seen it, make sure you go check it out. I will have it linked in the card at the end of the video and I'll also have it linked down below. Make sure you check it out. I thought it was pretty good, probably the best video I've edited so far. So go ahead and check that out. So starting off, I'm trying to figure out who I should pick. I end up picking, you know, I end up going through all of these teams. Howard, mm, they look decent. Alcorn State, mm, decent. Some of these teams are actually pretty decent. I, I thought about doing South Dakota State. Um, I kind of picked based on how how well they've done in the like forever. So I wanted to pick a team that basically has never made it to the tournament, never made it to a championship, nothing like that. Some of these teams have made it to a tournament, so. I thought it would be fun to try to pick a team that's never made it, pick a team that is semi-decent, I'm talking kind of, you know, mid-60s, high-60s, trying to stay out of the 70s because at that point you're just running into, you know, C-average teams. So we tried to pick a D-average team. I also went and looked at kind of their home places and kind of decided from there. There's a few teams I kind of wanted, but based on their roster and all the seniors or if they had some pretty good sophomores or something like that, I didn't pick them. I kind of want to bring in my own recruiting class. I want to try to make the team better my first year there and be able to recruit and bring in the people that I think will make the team elite. I know saying elite and the teams that we're looking at here is should never be in the same sentence, but we ran across Kennesaw State. They were a high 69 overall. So, you know, I, I thought, hey, they never made it to the tournament. They never done any of that. They're not picked to win at all. They have a bunch of seniors. They have three seniors on their starting lineup, which means that next year I will be down to whoever I have coming in as freshmen. So we're gonna have four scholarships starting the season out and we're gonna try to fill those four scholarships with the players we need and the players to build our dynasty around. Chances are we're most likely gonna have all freshmen that we bring in for a little while for all four years. So definitely wanna get some players that can stick around for all four years and hopefully get us to the top. I might depending on how the dynasty is going and how you guys are enjoying the series, I could possibly go on to a different team. But I'm as of right now, I am not planning on it. I think that Kennesaw State is decent enough. They were 13 and 18 last year, nine and nine in conference in the Atlantic Sun Conference. So they're not in a very good conference. I think I could easily win the conference, if not the first year for, sec for sure, the second year. So we do pick Kennesaw State. They are the Owls, if you couldn't tell from my first video. 
I'm excited. I, I We have an awesome sophomore point guard who I think is going to grow. The seniors we are going to utilize this year as much as we can. But the object is to bring in some freshmen that can take care of the ball and bring in some freshmen that can potentially win us the conference next year. Going over the customized schedule, I decided that most of these teams are better than us. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with playing really good teams, but I wanted to kind of make it a little different. So I went ahead and added the Hawaiian Island Classic Tournament. I like doing these tournaments because you just never know who you're going to play. And who knows, you might end up playing a, very, you know, a top 25 team and hey, all of a sudden you win and your name is then put into the conversation for an at-large bid. I know it's hard to do in the lower conferences, but it can be done. So another awesome part of this game is the ABL circuit. I really love what this game does with it because not only do you have the chance to see, see the players coming in, the freshmen coming in, but you get to play with players, you get to scout them and play with them because hey this guy's you know a five star and he shoots uh, 80 high 80s from three point well you get him in game and he has a weird shot for him and you can't get a shot down and you know that 88 goes to waste and he's shooting 35 percent from three so to be able to play with the guys before you get them i think is a huge boost for this game and that is not something that is in 2010. So this is kind of another reason I went with the 2K8 game. And as you can kind of see, you can pick which games you play. I went ahead and actually looked around and got the players I think that could possibly come to Kennesaw State. And then I went into the roster for ABL and found their teams and made sure that I played with as many as I possibly could. I also like it because it doesn't just play the five stars, the four stars. You play with three stars, two stars, and one star. So even people that could go to Kennesaw State are playing in these ABL games. And the first person we are going to look at is Stefan Wolf. He's a point guard and we'd be super excited to have him. His points per game, I think is like at 12 or 13. So he's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and try to use him here. Start with a turnover from Wolf. So that's never a good sign with the turnovers. But again, this is the first game of 2KA I have played in probably four or five years. So trying to get used to you know the, the sticks again, trying to get used to the the shooting, how the game works, how presses work. I'm trying to get used to all that. Here's Wolf from deep. Not going to make it. Probably not going to actually be one of our highest scores. Going to take another shot here. He was kind of covered on the shot, but I'm trying to figure it out. He does get the steal here. Goes up. Gets it blocked. So it's not starting off well on the offensive end. His defense isn't too bad. He seems pretty quick. But on the offensive end, he does not seem quick enough to be a really stellar, you know, kick and drive point guard. I, I think he's mostly just going to be able to run it, run the point. He gets fouled here, which kind of a bailout. Not a good shot he was wanting to take. So going to go to the free throw line. Let's hope he can make some free throws and raise up that offensive. I, I kind of went in just expecting these players to kind of play like the college players do in the game and they don't which I like because you don't get these players who just shoot absolutely light out from three and you don't get these players that can just drive around anybody and there's like no defense played like this is actually a legit good representation of how they're going to be on your team wolf with another three is going to miss not having a great offensive day but playing with other players, Wolf's gonna get it, gonna get fouled again, go to the line. Last time he was perfect twice from the free throw this time, slightly late. And a perfect release on the last. So that is his three points. I did actually sim the second half, and this is the only game that I ended up simming the second half. The rest of the games that you will see in the next episode, that's right. There's going to be another episode, and that is going to be most of the players. As you can see here, he is a two-star. No top school left or yet, so we can go ahead and put a hat in the ring. 
try to get him to come to Kennesaw State. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below and let me know what you think of changing to 2K8 for the rest of this year. Till next time, slacker out.